sir, how does it feel to be arresting a 92-year-old man on the How does it feel? How does this feel? How does this feel? How does feel as a human being? Okay, we're here today to ask the police to investigate criminal accusations over the suspicious death and tragic death of Eric Levy, the 94 year old campaign. Um, we've got a lot of very serious information and numbers of uh, doctors and nurses who will be named and we will ask the police to investigate. And Jill here has uh, been on the case for a very long time and visiting Eric very frequently in the hospital. We know there was a death and we know that it was caused by UCH Hospital. I would say our main goal is to stop this normalization of killing in the NHS, particularly with the elderly people. We know Eric was killed by nil by mouth. The hottest days of the year, some say the hottest days in history, they had him on no fluids and no solids for no reason. He was not going for surgery. The only reason you would put someone on nil by mouth is if they were going for surgery. Otherwise, it will result in death. He was underweight, he was dehydrated, he was malnourished. That person needed to gain weight, not lose weight, and on a starvation diet. So there is no excuse for this, and we are going to make sure this doesn't happen to other people. These people have to be held to account. We hope they will be fired and struck off the register. So, uh, what's the news? Well, we had a interview with a uh, sergeant who was reticent about taking it up but did advise us to come back with what he described as more tangible evidence. Uh, so we will obviously pursue things with the police and anywhere else as far as we can. So we will, of course, come back. They are reticent, but, you know, at least we've had an interview. I think the police have to be made to follow up these sort of charges. I think, you know, we all know this is difficult. If you haven't got cameras planted around the room to record everything that was said to Eric and everything that was done to him, you, you're going on eyewitness testimony and you're going on the result. There's a dead man who walked in there healthy and within 13 weeks they managed to reduce him to half his body weight, it looks like and putting him on nil by mouth, starving him with no food or fluids on the hottest days of the year, that doesn't look good. He wasn't going for surgery the next day. Why would you starve someone? Um, those are suspicious to me straight away, but these people, I understand, ideally you would have video evidence of everything but it's just possible, not it? possible you know but that's the kind of mentality they're operating on well unless you come to me with video evidence it's just your speculation so i feel that um there's work to be done with them to get them to do something but i feel that um they are not going to be doing the level of investigation that we need unless we're bringing them this tangible evidence. So what we can bring them now, um, well, there are things that we have great. photographs, we have um, my witness statement. And an independent doctor? We have an independent doctor. And what about What about the medical evidence? that would be held by the hospital? Well, he's saying that's for us to get. 
they're basically not willing to go do anything until we bring it all to them. That's what they're asking for. It's seems the catch-22. They want us to do the police's let's, job. Let's yeah. assume there were, I mean, if there were somewhere a direct intentional murder by a, by a doctor, I'm not saying that's the case now, but if there were an intentional murder by a doctor, the police would have to go and get the evidence and couldn't ask the that's person right. who makes the accusation. That's right. we, we reminded the police they have a duty to follow up uh, allegations, if there's reasonable evidence, and if they don't follow them up, they are breaking the law themselves. And, you know, I am absolutely confident we have tangible, reasonable evidence which they should follow up. He said he wants something more tangible. Okay, well, we'll work on that. They haven't dismissed it completely, but in my opinion, they're not doing their job yet. Not yet, no. That's what we need. But we'll come back and next time insist on a crime reference number. His big uh, statement was, can you imagine if we had to investigate <laughs> everybody who had a complaint about the NHS? Yeah, well. That's his interpretation of it. That we're dissatisfied with the NHS and, and a 94-year-old died. So how is that a big thing? He just thinks it's natural this 94 year old died the doctor thinks it's okay to put him on a end-of-life care mouth, against yeah. his will nil by mouth Liverpool care practice care pathway is illegal and they used it he doesn't seem at all bothered and is just normalizing that the NHS can do what they want well of course if there's a lot of these cases the answer isn't don't do anything the answer is you need more police exactly. to investigate the NHS but he was so trying and to that is, that's what's going to happen he, we're going to we're determined right. to make sure that Eric's death doesn't go unnoticed and that the consequences lots of these cases will come forward and you know these malpractices will be swept out of the NHS and I understand you call for a protest uh, yes. Right? What time is that? That's right. It's 12 noon Thursday, the 28th of July, out in front of UCH Hospital. And we're encouraging everybody to come forwards and register their own experiences. If you have a friend that's been through this and their parents were killed or their partner was killed, please come along and give us your details so we can include you in these complaints. We have to expose what's going on. This guy seems to think, or he's in denial, he seems to think that the NHS doesn't just kill people. I've told him to read the palliative care funding review where it says the doctors are incentivized to identify people for end-of-life yeah, cares. Him that, yeah. I told him, that, he showed him uh, various documents. that they have tariffs on their heads when they're identified as getting close to the end of life and the faster and the more cheaply it can be done, the tariffs are paid out to whoever carried out those processes and ended the life of the person with the tariff. He doesn't seem interested, and to be, uh, to be honest, you know, intellectually, I just don't think they can grasp what's going on and analyze it. They just want hard, cold evidence of a person sticking a knife in him to prove that he was killed, or a person, you know, kicking him or punching him to prove that it was abuse. That just doesn't happen. They're not going. They're not doing it that way. That's not our complaint. We didn't say they did it that way.